got India has a population of 1.3 billion people and takes up 1.24 million square miles of the world. India is surrounded by Bay of Bengal, the India Ocean, the Gulf of Maine, the Australian Sea, the cap, uh, capital of India, and, and the capital of India is New Delhi. The government of India is uh, farming. Basically, the president of India answers to um, the president of India is Ramnath Parvind. has been president for a little less than five years. The government of uh, India's primary religion is Hinduism. About 79.8 percent of uh, of the population is Hindu. Hinduism believes in religion and or, and in living a good life, have better life in the next one. The primary money source of this currently is called the India uh, rupee. India people enjoy listening to uh, Carson and Hindu music. The people are very trusting of their neighbors and don't lock the doors of their houses or hide any valuables. India enjoy the art of painting. India also uh, uh, article design and description. The, in, the, nat the natural animal is the tiger. Other animals one may find are uh, India elephants, India rhinoceros, Babel tiger, a sitting lion, uh, India snow leopard, and the cloudy leopard. Common plants are lemongrass, aloe, vera, uh, hands, roses, and, and uh, flowers. India is home to many mountain ranges. The largest mountain ranges is, is at almost 29,000 feet high. One of the largest lakes in India uh, is Lake Bipin, which is 787 square miles long. It is believed that the early settlers of India were African hunter gatherers who traveled there. Throughout its history, India has been ruled by the Dutch, the French, the Philip uh, Magus, and the British. In 1947, India gained independence from the British and came to something. India is a very interesting country that someday I would like to visit. Here's a map, and this is the supply. Yeah. Okay. Sicily and Sardinia. It's bordered by France, Switzerland, Slovenia, Austria, San Marino, and Vatican City. Italy is one of the most beautiful countries in the world. It's well known for its art, food, good weather, and beautiful language, which makes it a very popular tourist attraction. Some of these tourist attractions include the Sistine Chapel, St. Peter's Square, and the Colosseum in Rome. Its most famous food is pizza napolina, which is, consists of lots of, like a special kind of mozzarella and um, tomatoes that grow locally there. So it's really good. Italy is also home to some of the most majestic mountains, like Mount Edna, Mount um, Vesuvius, and Mount Lane. These mountains have good hiking spots and, of course, beautiful views at the summit. The common plants that grow in Italy are olives, tomatoes, grapevines, and figs. Their unofficial national animal is the wolf, because it's not like officially a thing here. Italy's population is around 60 million people. About 80% of them are Roman Catholics, and the rest are Protestant, Muslim, and atheists. Overall, Italy is one of the best countries in the world. Hey, Bethany.
countries located in the South Central Europe, um, it's one of the most beautiful countries in the world, and it has about 60 million people, which is about twice the population of Texas. An interesting fact about Italy is that Pizzo is invented in Naples, which is a um, southern city in Italy, leading American speed, 350 pieces of pizza a second. Italy is described as a fruit-shaped peninsula running out of the Mediterranean Sea. Uh, it is made up of a large landmass with several islands, including Sicily and Sardinia. Italy has many tourist attractions, including the Colosseum, the Leaning Tower of Pisa, and uh, the Sistine Chapel. Italy is a democratic republic government, meaning that most of the power in the government belongs to the people. The national flower of Italy is Italy, and the national animal is an Italian lily. Italy is a highly ranked country for education because it has school for six days a week instead of five. Um, Rome is the capital of Italy with a population of almost three million people. It is also the home of the current president, uh, Sergio Mattarella. Italy is ranked as the fifth most visited country in the world, with its beautiful and historic cities, the ancient architecture, and art. The oldest city in Europe, Matera, is also located in Italy. Several other well known cities include. Rome, Venice, Florence, Naples, and Milan. Venice is built over 100 small islands in the Adriatic Sea. A cool fact about Venice is that there are no roads in Italy, only canals. Instead of cars, buses, and taxis, um, citizens and tourists in Venice use water taxis, ferries, and water buses. Although Italy was founded in Roman Catholicism, most people nowadays believe in Christianity. Most people in Italy speak Italian, not surprisingly. But after that, the next most popular language is English. Italy is very famous for its culture and art dating back over 2,000 years with its beautiful paintings, sculptures, and architecture. <laughs> Several famous ancient state structures still stand in Italy today, including the Colosseum, the Leaning Tower of Pisa, and many other ruins of other temples and palaces. The climate in Italy is mostly Mediterranean, which means it is hot and dry in summer and cold and rainy. The most common animals in Italy are wolves, alpine marmots, foxes, and brown bears. Several famous people who live in Italy include America Vespucci, um, Christopher Columbus, Marco Polo, and Leonardo da Vinci. Any requests to go next? Jaden, take it away, buddy. Geography report on Russia. Did you know Russia is the world's largest country by area? It stretches 6.6 .6 million square miles. If you compare that to Pennsylvania, it's very large because Pennsylvania is a state and also it's 41,742 square miles. Russia's religion is Christianity, though it's a democratic. Country. I almost said state. The capital of Russia is Moscow. The current president is Vladimir Putin. There are 125,000 types of animals in Russia. Some of the most common are the Arctic fox, the wild boar, the red deer, Siberian tiger, and the polar bear. Russia had many choices, but the brown bear was going to be their national animal. Officials chose this because the symbol had possessed many different characteristics. There are lots of different kinds of woods and trees and trees, but the most common trees in Russia are the hackberry tree, the maple, the red maple, the red oak, and the sugar maple tree. Before researching all these types of trees, I didn't know what a hackberry tree was. Before we a hackberry tree is a very strong tree. It stands up to strong winds and withstands strong air pollution. Of all the tourist attractions in Russia, I think in Moscow, Kremlin is one of my favorites. The name Kremlin means fortress inside a city. Also, I found it cool that most of the tops of their buildings look like Hershey kisses or even ice cream, which is pretty cool. One of the tallest, or I think even the tallest mountains in Russia is the Elbers Mountain. 
it was hiked in 5,642 meters tall. Now that's not that high compared to the tallest mountain in the United States of America, which is Mount Everest, and its height is 8,848.86 meters tall. The first European settlement was established in 1784 by Russia. Moscow was founded in 1147. It is one of the oldest cities in Russia and one of the biggest. Moscow is so big, people say it should be a country. Russia has many different holidays on us, like International Women's Day, which is on 8th, March 8th, and Russia Day, which is on June 12th. Overall, I think Russia is, can be a very different country than ours. It has many cool things about it. Russia has made some poor and good decisions in its history, but I hope I might get to visit Russia one day, see Moscow, Kremlin, and other places. Okay, how about we go to, sorry. Thank you. 
National Flower they also have abundant wildflowers, including snowdrops. Daffodils, bluebells, bone roses have forests that cow slopes and they also have forests which work up them past their beaches. <laughs> The national animal in the world is the lion, even though there are very few large animals in the Zealand fauna is made up of mostly small animals. The rabbits and foxes also have hundreds of species of birds. One main point of pride for England is their history of literature. Mm. literature. From the writing of William Shakespeare to the publication of the King James Bible in AD 1612 to the works of Blake, Wadworth, and Keith. Also, the, create, the creator writing of Jane Austen, along with many modern classics like Alice in Wonderland, Wind and the Willows, Peter Rabbit, Winnie the Pooh, and even the Hobbit. England has many tourist tourist attractions, including Stonewall Cathedral, the Tower of London, the Roman Baths, the British British Museum, York Minster, Windsor Castle, Lake District National Park, the Cotswolds Warwick Castle, and many more. These attract about 40 million tourists every single year. <laughs> Christianity is the major religion in England, with 59.5% of the population claiming to be Christian. And the second largest religion group is the Muslim, Muslims, which comprise 4.4% of the population. Kenny. Uh, 
Um, in the rainier parts of Central Africa, there's some rather luscious vegetation and wildlife, including antelope, baboon, elephants, and gorillas. Um, throughout the mid 1900s, missionaries came to Central Africa and they worked and strived that the African people might know God. And today, Christianity is the main religion in Central Africa by a pretty good margin. Living conditions in Central Africa are not good, and the life expectancy is under 50. So, I guess we're bad. Um, the official language of French is, the official language of Africa is France. France. <laughs> French. <laughs> and uh, the national anthem is La Renaissance, which is French. So, yeah. National sport is football. Um, the national fruit is the banana. The national bird is the ostrich, but there is no national tree. So, yeah. The entire size of Central Africa is similar to that of Texas, with 240,000 square miles, lots smaller than Russia. Due to the popular, sorry, due to the poor living conditions, Central Africa is not really a popular tourist destination. So it's kind of like poor, really poor.
was Augustus Caesar and Pompey. They were just trying to undermine each other. And it actually resulted into the Civil War, which Augustus Caesar ended up uh, winning. And then he named himself an absolute monarch. A year later, he was actually murdered, and his nephew, Octavian Caesar, took over. He assumed the title of Augustus and became the absolute monarch. This was the time when Jesus was living, so he was a pretty ruthless um, uh, monarch. Eventually, the Romans became two masters of control, though, and their provinces started slowly slipping away. Uh, one by one. Rome was built on seven hills, and it was just a beautiful city because it was, you had those hills and stuff. Um, the seven hills were Escaline Hill, Palatine Hill, Aventine Hill, Capitoline Hill, Quarine Hill, and Caelian Hill. They were all like Latin names, so that's why they're hard to say. It, the, this beautiful city represented like, the, the most highest, the best quality of architecture that was ever like, in that age. They, um, they learned so much from the, the conquests that they had done, and it was just insane how, how advanced they became. The, the entire government fluctuated between absolute monarchy and a republic which was owned by the people. And pretty much in the republic, it was just dominated by po uh, politics, and it would just be torn apart from the outside. And the monarchy was dominated by one person, and it didn't work either because no one did, none of the citizens liked him. For the most part, they had ruthless punishments, and they didn't really, they didn't really tolerate lawbreakers. They just either killed them usually. So, yep. Go ahead. Liam, you have your own project, right? Were you yeah. with the group, or you have your own? I thought so. Go ahead. <clears throat> the United States is a country of 50 states. It is on the continent of North America. Canada is on the northern border, and Mexico is on the southern border. It is about 3.8 million square miles and is the world's third largest country by geographic area. The population is more than 331 million people. It is the third most popular country in the world. The United States is located between two oceans, the Atlantic Ocean to the east and the Pacific to the west. There are two major mountain ranges. The Rockies are in the west, and the Appalachian Mountains are in the east. There are many rivers, with the Mississippi being the largest. The greatest lakes are the biggest lakes in the country. There are several climate types found in the United States. Some examples are the Savannah Desert, Tropical, and Temperate. There are many advisors, plants, and animals that can be found here. The United States government is a documentary. It has many freedoms such as freedom of speech, press, and religion. The freedoms and laws are enforced by the Constitution. Three branches of government help us uphold the laws. The executive branch is the president, and the legislative is, I mean, it's Congress. And the Supreme Court is the judicial branch from the early senators of Jamestown, Virginia, in 1607 up until now this is and always will be the best country on the planet okay. and here's my map and here's uh, here's my map <laughs> Um, United States of America is a big country. It is on 
comes to 3.8 million square miles long. This makes it the third largest country in the whole world. Mm. And it's also the third largest country in a population of total of 340 million people. There are 50 states in America, um, but the largest is Alaska. The two major mountain ranges of the USA are the Rocky and the Appalachian. Appalachians. There are many rivers in America, but the biggest is Mississippi and Missouri, and the Colorado rivers. The capital of the country is Washington, D.C. There are over 3,000 species native to the United States. Some of the, these animals include grizzly bears, bison, bald eagles, and cougar. The bald eagle is a national bird of America because of its great strength, nice looks, and a long life. Some Americans, some Americans animals are dangerous like the black footed ferret, the red wolf, Florida panther, lumberjack sea turtle, giant sea bass, and the rest of Indian manatee. In the US, the United States of America, one will find many kinds of plants. The most common flower is rose. Only in America will one find will one find the Tennessee kind flower, the desert sea sunflower, and the living rock cactus. Giant redwood trees are, are in the western part of the country. In other places, one will find oak, find oak, pine, and elm trees. The oldest people of America were the Native Americans. It, it's believed that they, they that they were came to the United States from Asia on a language. In the 1500s, explorers from Spain became founders of the, this new world. Others from France, Holland, and England followed creating a country that has many kinds of groups of people. In the early days of the United States, the people were under the law of the king of England. But they wanted to have freedom, so they were a declaration of independence and fought a war with England to win a free home. The, the Americans came set up a constitutional republic as they are from a form of government. This formal government has three branches, including a president, lawmaker, and rules. In other words, people who make um, sure that America obeys the law, the cops. In the beginning of America, had only 13 states and a flag with 13 stars. As more, as more of the territory of America was discovered, more states were made. Now the United States of America includes 50 states. The current flag has 15 states to remember how much we have grown from 13 original states. The United States of America is a home of many people still today. It is, growing, it is a growing country as more people are moving in. Many people have freedom here and love living here in the United States of America. Christianity as a main part 
part of their national identity. And ancient Greek art and culture was considered to be the fundamental pillars of civil society and very much influenced the Roman Empire and Western civilizations. Greece is known for some of the world's most historical sites, natural beauty, with the balmy Mediterranean climate and fascinating culture. The beautiful island of Crete is very large and a popular place to vacation in Greece because it has some of the best beaches. Greece has many different animals and wildlife, and the national animal is the bottlenose dolphin. And there are about 6,000 different wildflowers in Greece, and about 600 of them are also native. And overall, Greece is a very ancient and beautiful country.
Romania is located in southeastern Europe with a population of 19.29 million people. Their native language is Moldova. Major religion is Christianity. I think it was like 81.9% um, of the country is Christi are Christians, whether it's Roman Orthodox Christian, Protestant Christian, and other Greek Catholics and Roman Catholics. Um, the country was founded in 1859 when Moldavia and Malaysia um, merged to form the country. Um, it soon developed a basis form of government and was responsible for the killing of 280 to 380,000 Jews during World War II. Previous to World War II, Romania was known as a communist bloc country because of the dictatorship of Nicolae Sicescu. Um, but he was overthrown in 1991 when Romania voted for a new constitution. In this new constitution, they were given the freedoms of um, individual rights, uh, speech, freedoms of religion, and private ownership. The government, what is presently a uh, semi-presidential representative to the Democratic Republic. Um, citizens over 18 can freely vote, both president and prime minister, consists of a president and prime minister. The president's responsibilities, um, he's the Romanian head of state and represents the country internationally. He also signs on decrees and authorizes laws that are passed by the parliament. Um, he also nominates a member of parliament to become prime minister. The prime minister's responsibilities are, he's basically just the head of the government. Um, there are four distinct seasons in Romania. I thought this was kind of interesting. It's similar to our seasons. Um, they also have like really nice weather with no humidity. Usually in April, things change from it being really cold to warmer. Um, in the summer, it stays around like 68 degrees. In the winter, depending on where you are in the country, it's like negative 22 to 35 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, the highest point in Romania is Moldavia, um, with its reaching elevation of 8,346 feet. They have lots of beautiful rivers and lakes. Another, one of the um, really big tourist attractions is Dracula's Castle, which is said to be a place that Vlad the Impaler actually lived, uh, which is kind of interesting. It's, I don't know, there was, there's, Kind of, there's other theories that he actually didn't live there, um, but just a guess that he actually did, so it's a, a pretty big tourist attraction. Something else people like to do is hike the Transylvanian Alps, which are 155 miles long. Their education is pretty simple. It's uh, two levels, pre-university, which is five levels, and then higher education, which is around four levels. Overall, Romania is a beautiful country with lots of interesting structures and just things that display uh, the beauty of God and His glory. Thank you. Mm -hmm.
shared the landscape of forest rivers and mountains in the woods and beaches. The capital of Germany is Berlin, which is governed by its country in Europe. Many tourists are going to Germany to go sightseeing because of the Berlin Earth Day and Sunny Sunshine in World War II. Argentines are also popular there due to the variety of ever talent in the sculptures, paintings, and sketches. Rock and pop are the most popular music genres. The current president of Germany is Frank Walter Spinier. The population is 83.14 million as of 2020. The currency in Germany is euros. One euro is equivalent to one dollar and ten cents in the United States. The national animal of Germany is the feral eagle and the national plant is the cornflower. The first people to inhabit the region of Northern Germany were Celts. Gradually, they were displaced by German tribes moving to the north, but their exact origins are unknown. Germany was the first country in the world to adopt daylight saving time. Christianity is the dominant religion in Germany, and Islam is the biggest minority religion. The German education system consists of preschool, primary, and secondary education. Germany's 16 states abolished tuition fees for undergraduate students at all public Chinese universities. This means that currently both domestic and international undergraduates at public universities in Germany can study for free, which is a small fee <coughs> for administration of their cost per semester. Some unique things about Germany are that there's no speed limits, there's sausage vending machines, and the world's narrowest street, and there are over 2,000 classes. I will be doing a report on uh, Greece. This is the map. Uh, these three countries used to be part of it. Uh, it's located uh, in between Italy and Turkey. Uh, this is its flag. Um, Greece is located in southeastern Europe. Um, Greece is over uh, 51 square miles and 80% um, of the country is mountains. Uh, only 25% of the land surface is suitable for growing crops. Uh, while 40% um, of the country has um, pastures. Uh, Greece has over 2,000 islands, but only 170 um, have people living on them. Um, uh, you, if you have an uh, extra couple million in your pocket, you can maybe buy one of these islands. Who knows? You know? <laughs> uh, Greece is beautiful in its raw state. Um, with coastlines and uh, coves and beaches and gulfs in Europe. Uh, the language of Greece is Greek, spoken by 99% of the population. Um, the oldest written, it's one of the oldest written languages. Um, there's many words that we get, um, even in English, from Greek. Um, the climate is warm, uh, dry summers, and uh, uh, wet winters. Um, the uh, natural uh, animal in uh, Greece is the dolphin. Uh, there's also three different species that uh, live there, which that's the only place in the world with three different species. Um, they have uh, Amazing mixture of animals with the brown bear, wolves, deer, uh, wild boars, um, goats, donkeys, um, domestic animals, and um, gentle sea creatures, uh, 
and their forests are filled with rare birds. Um, uh, Greece has 21 species of snakes. Um, six of them are venomous. Uh, one is even uh, strong enough to kill 30 grown men. Um, the most common jobs are construction, tourism, uh, transportation, uh, sm small scale shopkeeping. Their um, major crops include tobacco, cotton, sugar, uh, beets, green, vegetables, fruit, olives, um, and grapes. They also uh, produce meat, milk, and wool, and hides. Um, in Greece, the president is elected by parliament every five years, and they um, he is the head of state. The parliament has 30, 300 members. The prime minister is the head of government, and the president appoints the prime minister. The government has three branches, uh, exclusive power, legislative power, and judge, judge, judicial power. Um, on March 25th, that is today, actually, um, uh, it's a uh, national holiday um, uh, to celebrate the war of independence against the autonomous Almond Empire. That war was fought in 1821 um, to uh, 1830, so it lasted nine years, um, which resulted in Greece becoming its own independent state. So right now they're celebrating their independence. Um, the national flag, um, the national flag uh, means, uh, uh, it means freedom or death, um, which I thought that was interesting. Um, um, Greece has almost 80, I um, mean 98% Orthodox Christian, like Catholic, um, they do get kind of confused with uh, Zeus and God, which one is God, and sometimes they just put them together. Um, uh, uh, culture is very important and is long standing. Uh, uh, poetry and metalworking and wood carving. Um, uh, they have um, <coughs> distinct Greek symbols and music and dancing. Um, and certain foods and uh, symbols and crafts and music, um, and that's it. I did my report on Georgia, the country, that is hard, easily confused with the state Georgia. This is the flag, you see that. Georgia is located uh, bordering Russia in the north and touching Turkey and Armenia in the south. Armenia, sorry. Georgia um, touches the eastern end of the Black Sea and to the north, the greater Caucasus Mountains uh, run along its northern borders. Georgia is known for having many changing landscapes. Uh, the capital city of Georgia is Tbilisi. Tbilisi. Uh, Georgia's terrain is mostly mountainous with some plains. Uh, 
with tropical areas uh, at the coast of the Black Sea. The, the land is separated by three mountain ranges that run from east to west. Mount Shikara on Mount, the Greater Caucasus Range is the highest point in Georgia at an elevation of 16,512 feet. The climate in Georgia uh, varies depending on the elevation, having tropical climates uh, in the lower parts near the coast and much colder temperatures further east into the mountains. The Caucasus mountain range acts as a barrier which shields Georgia against Russian, harsh, harsh Russian winters and gives Georgia its vast climate differences. Uh, Georgia's chain landscape allows it to inhabit many different types of species of plants and animals. Uh, forest and brushwood cover over a third of Georgia's landscape. In the forests, you can find oak, chestnut, beech, alder, Caucasian fir, ash, linden, as well as apple and pear trees. On the steep slopes of Georgia's mountains grows feather and beard grass underbrush. Georgia is especially known for its eucalyptus trees that grow along the country roads. Rodents, and rodents, turkeys, black geese, and eagles inhabit the mountains of Georgia, while wild boar, roe, Caucasian deer, brown bear, lynx, fox, wolves, jackals, hares, and squirrels live in the forests. During medieval times, Georgian kingdom was the strongest in the 10th and 13th centuries. After being conquered by the Turkish and Persian uh, nations, Georgia became part of the Russian Empire. Georgia was independent from 1918 till 1921, uh, when it was absorbed into the Soviet Union. After the collapse of communism and the Soviet Union, Georgia declared itself independent again on April 19, 1991. The government of Georgia, uh, after becoming independent of the Soviet Union, is a unitary multi-party republic that has a ruled by a prime minister, which is the head of the government, and a president, which is the head of state. The population of Georgia as of 2021 is 3,730,000. Four-fifths of the people of Georgia are Georgian, and the remaining fifth are Armenian, Russian, and Azerbaijanis. Georgian, Georgian people enjoy folk music and are very skilled in wood, metal, and fine jewelry artwork. The Russian, I mean, the main religion in Georgia is the Orthodox Church, and other religions include Muslim, Russian Orthodox, Armenian, Apostolic, uh, Christian, Catholic, and Jewish. Uh, Georgia is known for having a high level of education. In 1918, the Tbilisi University was founded, as well as the Academy of Science in 1941, which conducts scientific research throughout Georgia. The main tourist attraction in Georgia include the capital of Tbilisi, the hilltop Giragedi Trinity Church, as well as the abundant hiking on the Georgia's mountains. That's it. at this time that I've missed that has a project. Okay, thank you all. You are dismissed to class then. What do you think? Get up here? Okay. <coughs>